This is the energy vibration reading for the um, Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of October 2017. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for this positive, positive energies that is going on. Um, this is uh, a wonderful month for you guys. Obviously, um, there's a situation that is happening to you, um, Virgos. Whatever the situation is, it's going to be a positive one. Um, um this month is the month of justice so um if you realize that in this year a lot of justice week of justice or month of justice keep on coming up because there's a lot of imbalances so as we move forward we are looking at the zodiac energies the um is the hair energies and the water energies you are a fire sign okay let's look at your reading and see what is going on you have the energy of temptation which is number 15 number 15 is always the energy vibration of the devil uh, temptation is the apple biting a piece of the apple but it has to do with a sense of you trying to find your place in life and all of these situations happening at once so well, let's look and see what this is saying the temptation temptation attract attachment the material world is um, my playground but I need to be careful not to be attracted to outcomes this is a warning to you to watch for excess and to know what's not healthy for you when this card shows up it's a sign that you are focusing on the materialistic aspect and need to be aware of any excess or additional behavior um, that you may own okay so a lot of people are going to be traveling um, in this month whatever is happening a lot of traveling I see and not uh, people booking vacation it's a good month to book vacation for next year and for the end of the year a lot of planning of traveling a lot of um, long distance and um, close by traveling is happening this month has four weeks and as we look at the first month first week we have the energy of the Sun which is very very wonderful whatever this energy of the Sun is is a positive positive as um, access um, that is coming in your life positive energies good things whatever is happening it has to do with your health which is extremely good this situation has to do with your, your health and your financial situation so let's say that your health hasn't been most of the uh, serious whatever is happening news about your health will be coming in if you are helping a health situation um, and news of financial and success and abundancy will also be coming in the number seven energy is the energy and it doesn't matter how this plays but it doesn't matter if it's reverse or not reverse but the number seven energy uh, five and seven twelve wow never saw that before okay number five but number seven okay so whatever um that is saying so someone out there needed to have that message or that number five and seven don't know what that number was all about five main changes and you're on the good part number seven so a lot of people are thinking about making changes a lot of good messages are coming in so this is going to be positive as messages about your health and messages about your financial situation your materialistic um, needs a lot of new possibilities whenever the energy of the Sun comes especially with the ace of ones a new beginning this is a new beginning for a lot of people health and financial situation as we move forward we are looking at the energy vibration for the second week and this is positive this is a fire energy in the second week you're going to find your inner passion this inner passion is for people who are looking for work 
people who wants to change their career people who are looking for other work and this is going to be good because you have the energy of the three of cups a celebration what I should also say is that the number 3 21 and 3 so there is going to be a celebration even though people are going to try and block you ask the universal angel to remove these negative entity and energies that are trying to um, block you from whatever you are supposed to receive in your life move all mountains blockages uh, release you so in the second week you when this is all gone you are going to have the three of cups celebration and the four of Pentacles so in this week you have three and four another number seven coming up so you guys need to understand what is happening so you have another seven here again and another three so the number three and the number seven is going to happen okay I've been guided to reverse there's a lot of opportunities a lot of opening a lot of possibilities are going to be happening in the third week a lot of positive situation um, invitation is going to happen for you a lot of people are going to be opening up positive doors towards you the next energy that you have is the four of um, stability a lot of parties a lot of invitation um, marriages for some people marriages a lot of um, invitation to live together um, a lot of people are want to um, you to be with them they're going to be inviting you in there's a lot of possibilities and opportunities that is going to be happening for you and then you have the energy of the king of cups and this energy of this king of cups is a Pisces Pisces a Scorpio or a cancer that is going to open up doors of opportunities for you that is going to be inviting you out that wants you to be in places that is going to build a strong foundation for you and then a lot of doors and opportunities are going to be opening up for you Tauruses okay this is this is actually very good very positive so if you are connected to someone who is a Pisces a Cancer or a Scorpion expect that those people are going to be opening helping you to open up positive doors of opportunity for you as we move forward in the fourth and last week we have the energy of the three of water and not a celebration so there is a lot of celebration that is going to be happening that is going to be taking place um, a lot of invitation out a lot of um, you know celebration happening for you guys um, there's going to be a transformation of whatever that was negative and that was holding you back and there is going to be invitations coming in um, invitation to public things uh, uh, invitation to give speeches and that sort of a thing but whatever is happening is is positive because these invitation are very good so whatever this energy of the debt and transformation because these are invitation there's going to be a transformation of things in your life and there is going to be a celebration and it's so strange and I need to ask a question why um, what is the transformation of this debt and transformation what is happening because you have celebration you have the invite oh oh okay transformation that the lovers Wow, it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be extremely wonderful. So, I did say it, a temptation is the energy vibration for you, Virgos, on this month. Temptation is the energy vibration for you, Virgos, on this month. And love is going to be a wonderful, wonderful um, support energy for you, Virgos. Love, a lot of people are going to be connecting with people overseas a lot of people are going to be connecting with people 
that are not in your that doesn't live close to you in that close proximity um, proximity um, a lot of people are going to be connecting with people and situation and relationships wonderful positive relationships are coming in your lives so this is going to be positive and also going to bring positive situations for a lot of people who have been looking to change certain aspect and certain situation in their lives so this is extremely good whatever is happening for you um, Virgos you're going to see that love is going to be wonderful in this month love is going to be coming to you at all angle number three number four and number seven is your energy vibration let's go to the zodiac and see what's the sun sign what's happening for this the moon sign and for you Virgos your um, planet comes in also okay for the Sun moon and rising sign the Sun sign for the Sun sign you are going to have the Aries the Virgo and the Taurus this is good this is strong people these are business these are people who are going to help you with your business who are going to help you to find inner strength you Virgos because you Virgos are uh, mostly quiet and under the, the lead and um, these uh, fire sign people these Aries Virgos and Taurus are going to help you to find the inner like a, um, strength power to bring out the passion of who you are the Virgos are going to be here the Aries uh, and they're really going to be focusing and helping you to understand your journey and where you are Virgos and Taurus your own sign and the Taurus is um, and the Aries are coming out to bring the inner passion back to you as we move on we have the energy of the moon and with this moon energy that is for the people who are born 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. and we have um, Jupiter the lucky planet um, bringing you luck we have Virgo um, uh, Venus bringing you love and we have Libra balancing the scale so this is good this is good so what is happening is that the universal angels and your guides and mother hurt is going to bring um, you in alignment with the luck and luck in love and balancing all that has been out of balance for some people and remember when these positive energies doesn't affect you it is because you have not been vibrating at an eye energy vibration okay so you need to understand that if you need to have positive things happen to you you need to start thinking positive and uh, the action of bringing positivity also in your life as we move on we are looking at the angels of abundance to see what messages are here for the angels of abundance quiet retreat so for you Virgos it's a quiet retreat whatever is happening these angels wants you to have a quiet retreat in the month of October remember it's time to discern from the outer world so that you can discern and perceive press your truth through and feelings from your inner world create this quiet time for yourself and you will have more clarity about what to do next okay so find that quiet time for yourself in the month of October and you're going to realize how wonderful and positive things are about to affect your life okay this is going to be good so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls remember to be kind to yourself and understand that only love is real no matter what other people are doing no matter how people are working against you know that only love is real 
And I want to say to each and every person, namaste. Until next week. Bye.